mother of all time the greatest mother among all the mothers of the world disciple of all time the greatest disciple among all the disciples of the world next to jesus and before to all human being is mary a mother a model of all holiness as a sky as countless stars the attributions to mother mary are countless one of those titles i feel the best and discovered first by st peter julian aimard is our lady of most blessed sacrament the title of our lady of most blessed sacrament was first given to mary by st peter julian aimard in may 1868 while speaking to his novices a few years later he described what a statue should look like the blessed virgin holds the infant in her arms and he holds a chalice in one hand and the host in the other he exhorted them to invoke mary our lady of the blessed sacrament pray for us who have recourse to thee later pious the ninth when reached the invocation with intelligence twice in pious the tenth did the same on december 30 1905 he granted a 300 days intelligence to the faithful who pray our lady of the most blessed sacrament pray for us that this title our lady of the blessed sacrament is perhaps the most meaningful of all said saint pius the 10th in 1921 the sacred congregation of right authorized the blessed sacrament congregation to celebrate each year on the 13th of may a solemn commemoration of the blessed virgin with the intention of honoring mary under the title of our lady of the most blessed sacrament and of course this feast is still celebrated today with a great joy by all the spiritual sons and daughters of saint peter julian aimard St John the 23rd codified the title of our lady of the blessed sacrament when he declared St Peter Julian a saint on December 9 1962 at the end of the last session of the second Vatican Council St Peter Julian Aimard honored Mary with his title pointing us to her intimate relationship to and with the Eucharist and reminding us of her role as a model for us she shows us how to trust even when we may not understand god's plan now of the congregation of the blessed sacrament had just fashion and coined the words as our lady queen of the cenacle without reducing any single trace of value to the term of our lady of most blessed sacrament reflection Mary never stopped or paused in her devotion to God she lived with her son in a most intimate way by raising him and she was one of the few who were able to stand at the foot of the cross when it became clear that in fact Jesus meant for his followers to heat him to consume him and not just in a metaphorical way She was first in line not because she was a raving cannibal but because she trusted that God knew what he was doing Mary's love for Jesus started when she said yes to the angel Gabriel and continued throughout her life as she said yes to each of the aspects of her life occasion as wife and mother she showed her love of god has so many women too by living her life fulfilling her duties saying 
yes again and again and again Mary devoted herself exclusively to the Eucharist glory of Jesus she knew that it was the desire of the eternal father to make the eucharist known loved and served by all men the need of jesus heart was to communicate to all men his gifts of grace and glory she knew too that it was the mission of the holy spirit to extend and perfect in our hearts of men the reign of jesus christ and that the church had been founded only to give jesus to the world All Mary's desires then was to make him known in his Eucharist. Her intense love for Jesus felt the need of explaining in this way of consecrating itself as a kind of relief as it were because of her own inability to glorify him as much she as desired. Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament or Our Lady Queen of the Cenacle holds Jesus in her arms and she shows us how to love him as she did. Go to my son, the image says to us, gazing down at us through the centuries. He is right there waiting for you. Go to my son. Then why do we need to wait? Why do we hesitate? If mother shows a way, children have no option then to walk on the way because every mother knows what is best for us. So let us go to Jesus, the Eucharistic Savior of the world and have intense devotion of being with him and doing his mission for the sweetest taste of the Eucharist. We need to become true adorers of Jesus. our eucharistic god to know him better to love him more and to center our lives around the eucharist that is to make our whole life a constant prayer of adoration thanksgiving reparation and petition to our lord in the eucharist we shall pray blessed are you mary Exalted daughter of Zion you are highly favored and full of grace for the spirit of God descended upon you we magnify the lord and rejoice with you for the gift of the word made flesh a bread of life and cup of joy our lady of the blessed sacrament a model of prayer in the cenacle pray for us that we may become what we receive the body of Christ your son amen